Hey, welcome to an all new SharePoint tutorial video from Doc365. I'm Alex. Today, we are going to show you how to add a new section or side column to a SharePoint modern page. You can create attractive and well-organized page layouts by adding new sections with columns into your SharePoint page. Let's see how it is done. Let's start with adding new sections with columns to your page. The first step is to take your page, SharePoint site page, to the edit mode. So click on edit option here. So the page is now in an edit mode. So to add a new section, you just need to click on the plus icon here to the side, left, left hand side, and click where you want to add a new section. I will just add at the bottom, click on it. And then you will see uh, an option to choose the preferred layout. There is uh, one column, two column, three column, one third right, one third left, vertical section. You can choose any of these options. I'm going to choose two column section for now. So here you can see there are two sections added here. And you can click on publish to add this section to your uh, SharePoint page. So as you haven't uh, added any content to that particular sections, it won't be visible when you republish the page. However, you can add content to this uh, these new sections by clicking on the plus icon inside the section and choose a desired verb part to add content to this um, new section. So I'm going to choose the events verb part in one section. And in the second section, I'm going to add a countdown timer. So these are the uh, content I have uh, decided to add. You can configure the web parts uh, as you prefer. So I'll just give a description here just for the look product launch event okay and then you can click on republish so that the new section as well as the content will be added to the page so here is the page i'll just elaborate it so that it looks as it is so this is how the page looks when you add new content. And another thing you may want to know is how to edit an existing section. So uh, let's edit uh, one of the sections here. I'm again taking the page to the edit mode. So this is the uh, one of the oldest sections in this page. And this is already here for a, a long time now. So I'm going to change the layout of this section. This is a one column section. I'm going to make it a one third left section. So uh, I have chosen it and I'm just closing it. So the current section, content section, I'll move to the one third section and the other section is free here. You can add any, uh, um, what part do you wish? I'm just adding a document library for now. Um, I'll choose one document library for here. Yeah. So the content as well as the document library reports are active now. So this is how you can edit a uh, already existing section. So that's a very simple edit. And uh, I'll show you one more uh, variety of section here, the vertical section. It's uh, quite different from others. So let's uh, add it uh, somewhere here. Add a new part. Add a new part. Let's add a new section here. So, so click on the section icon and choose vertical section. 
So vertical sections will be added to the right side of the page by default. So vertical section, not all um, web parts or content will, uh, will be suitable for this vertical section. Uh, so I'm going to choose a image gallery for now. And I'll choose split or I'll let me choose the carousel section. Select images. Okay. And I would like to add a few images. Let me choose some of the images I have already added to this page. And click insert. Okay. And let's give it up to event images. So the vertical section is also, also ready. Uh, let's see how the final uh, look of the page is. So this is how the page looks after adding all the uh, sections. So the intention of this uh, video was to just show you how to add new sections, how to edit an existing section and how to add a vertical section and also how to add web parts to a new section. So you can add new sections, content and web parts and uh, column types according to your requirement for the particular page. So uh, plan your page well and make use of the sections to uh, display your content more effectively and make the SharePoint pages more efficient. Hope you like this video. We will surely come up with more interesting and useful SharePoint tutorial videos. Till then, stay tuned.